Okay, so we're doing another Costco sale item review. So this is the Ninja Foodie Pro pressure cooker. Um, it already came like somebody opened the tape or something or it was cut. The only other one that was there, somebody stepped on the box. There was a giant shoe print, so I didn't want that one. So hopefully everything is in here. Um, the normal price is $149.99. It was $25 off, so basically about $125 plus tax. Um, California Bay Area tax sucks. It's almost 10%, like 9.25%. Uh, um, but here you go. <clears throat> 1460 watt foodie pressure cooker with a crisping lid, family size cooking pot, 6.5 quart capacity, non-stick coating for easy cleanup. I mean, you can read all of that stuff yourself. All right. Comes with a chef book, I guess, for recipes. All right, that's what it looks like. All right, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So this gets hotter than my other, um, than my other air fryer, and it says it can do some like air fry stuff. So we're gonna, I'm gonna compare it later to my air fryer. I also got a Cuisinart like flatter air fryer, so I'm gonna see if that makes a difference. If it doesn't really make much difference, I might return it, but it looks bigger than my regular air fryer, more capacity in the Cuisinart one. Um, so we'll see, it might be a better air fryer for frying french fries and stuff. But here you go, you can look at it and you can pause if you want to read some stuff. It just shows different foods, I guess. So you see how it's designed, pressure release valve, the lid, glass lid, cook and crisp plate, crisping lid, cooking, 14 safety features. So my brother right now, he's prepping stuff to make some curry. So we're gonna be making curry in this thing. Oh, I hope I didn't break it, flipping it upside down, but here you go, you can see the bottom as well. All right, let's open it up. So again, this lid was already, um, or this thing was already cut open. So here you can see, they show you here to test the pressure cooker. If you don't know how to use it, they tell you how to do it. PRE and some steam. So apparently PRE means pressure. I thought it's like preparing or something. Cooking pot, you got that. Dehydrating rack. Oh, so I don't even need the other thing. Wait, does it come with that? Or those are just other stuff? Oh no, those are just stuff you can buy. Never mind. Okay, let's take this out. If the packaging looks different than what you got, let me know, because that means somebody already opened this and returned it. But I guess it should be easy to tell if it was opened and used so this piece of um this envelope is taped to that baggie there let's see what it shows here do not put it in a hot s a surface near hot gas or electric so don't put it next to your stove okay most people probably don't care about this but most people don't show this so i figured i'll make my videos different if you want to get to just cooking in it right away, um, there's lots of other people showing that kind of stuff. So hopefully you can read this. The flash is kind of making it hard to read, but if I turn it off, uh, it's too blurry. So I don't know. How am I going to do this? There we go. Okay, I don't know if you read top to bottom or if it's left to right, but you can go ahead and read that all yourself. Okay. There you go. Okay. Bacon roast, boil. Oh, sorry, we've got some family talking about stuff. Go, you can look at the back. They show you a cooking cheat sheet for cooking different vegetables and stuff. If you lost yours or damaged yours, you can read this. Okay. There we go. All right. Maybe let me wait till they finish talking about stuff. Alright, so here's the manual. Again, you can just fast forward through this if you don't care. But I'm going to just show it in case somebody wanted to see it for some reason. Hopefully everything's... Uh, hopefully they're able to read everything. It says to save these instructions. Okay. 
You can pause and read it if you want. Hopefully all the pages are coming out clear. Again, you can skip over all of this if you don't care. Just figured in case somebody lost or threw away their manual, at least they'll have this video. Okay, it's coming out a little bit blurry. Hopefully it's all coming out. English. This whole manual, this is the first time I've seen they only have an uh, English manual. <laughs> so they have the website link there, so maybe if you need another language, it's probably in there. Man, these pages are stuck together. Okay, troubleshooting stuff, so if yours is having some problems or broken. And I think that's the last page. It's a lot of stuff to read. Laws. Okay. There we go. It's illegal to use this to throw at people's cars. <laughs> okay. There's this food recipe thing. I don't know if anyone cares about that. Let me actually take the thing out so that my brother can start cooking. So we got this pan lid here. I don't think he's going to use that. So it's just rolled up and they tape this thing together. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. I don't think we're going to use that. And we got this lid here. I think this is the pressure cooker lid. So we're going to get that. I'll let my brother set it up because he's he's used one before so he knows how to do it. Okay, sorry. Let's get all this stuff out of here. Go, the lid looks like this. Okay, then they tape this on there. Valve is designed to be loose fitting, so they put tape all over it to hold it in place. Again, I don't know if somebody used this before. I think they might have because I see like water spots on it. So it looks like I got a used returned one. If it has issues, maybe I can just buy a new one because they're not on sale anymore, but maybe I can just exchange it. But we'll see. Like buy a new one and then return it with the return this one with the new receipt. So rotate lid, they show you how to do that. Yep. I mean I, I paid the price for the one that's supposed to be new, so it should be new. I don't know if I put those fingerprints or if it's somebody else's. Maybe we can do a fingerprint analysis and find out who used this pot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I need two hands to get this thing out, so I'll be back. All right, so we got the two bags out. Now we got this foamy stuff here let's see how does this open so this opens like that and they got some cardboard in there cardboard oh my brother said walmart sells 10 pound chicken really cheap got a wire basket here okay got some more cardboard in here you got this uh vegetable steamer i think i don't know it's like metal actually and you got this and again, I think somebody already opened this, and then you got this non-stick thing. I wasn't expecting it to be white inside, so that's interesting. Usually non-stick is like this black Teflon, but inside it's like this whitish gray. So there we go. Alright, so we got that. I'll let my brother see, and he'll tell me if it's different. So there's the heating element in there. Okay, let's close this. Looks like that. And there's some tape on the back. So we've got some tape here. Peel that off. And peel this off. I don't know what all these things are. What is this? Oh, this is the steam catcher tray. 
how do you get it out? It's stuck in there. Oh, there we go. So I think this is the steam catching tray. So when you open the lid, the steam all drips in there. And then you can um, empty it out so it doesn't drip all over your table. All right, so I'm gonna give this to my brother. He's gonna start cooking something with it. And then I'll show you guys the uh, food recipe book. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. We're gonna look at the recipe book and my brother is gonna start the other stuff. And if you're wondering, I did vacuum this, but our carpet is so gross that you can see that's permanently stuck there. <laughs> and all right, so, oh, my brother wanted to show what he's throwing in the pot, so I'll be back. Let's go over there. Okay, so this is what we got going in. He got some potatoes, carrots, celery. Um, I don't know if you already put the chicken in. Chicken's at the very bottom. Okay, chicken's at the bottom. And is there onions in there? Nope, not yet. No onions? Go last oh, onions go last. Okay, and we got all this junk here, but it's you can done. see this is the other parts that we're not going to use, and we're going to use this you pressure water. cooking lid. Okay. Like, right, so now we need water. Okay, my brother said he has to put some water in there. I don't know how much. He said at least two cups, but I think that's like six or seven, but we'll see. I pour that whole bucket in yep. there. I think all of it is. Okay. There you go. You can see the water level now at the line. Yeah, usually right at where the, where the food is. The okay. All right. What's next? The onions. That's it. Now we seal it. Oh, you don't put the onions till the end. Yep. After. Okay. It's done. So onions cook at the end, so they're not mush. Now, if you want to use this lid... So now we'll use the pressure cooking lid. Put it on at an angle, and here you see there's that lock mechanism, so it tells you start it over there, and then you twist it on into the lock position. <clears throat> Uh-oh, it's not working. It's broken. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, right. it's broken. That's why somebody returned it. <laughs> What's that? Oh. Some, some strings no, wrong. Sorry, I did it on the wrong side. Oh, he had it upside down, so, so you here you can see this lock actually shows the thing there. It was backwards. So he had the lid on backwards. Okay, so hopefully, there, there you go. Now it works. You, you start it, right? it there, and then you twist it over to the lock position. And then you turn it on, and it says Foldy. different. Foldy. So uh oh, it's different, so it might not cook right. We'll see. So you got all these different options. You already told them about these different options that it can nope. do. I Whoa, this one also it. has sous vide. So has, yep. Oh. Pressure, sous vide, steam, air crisp, slow cook, bake, roast, yogurt, broil. Wow. Yogurt? What see, the? You can even dehydrate your fruit. Nice. Okay, so, so this is a newer model. It can do a lot more stuff than and the one that they it. had before. And you can even set the time. So, uh, pressure. We'll set it. 10 minutes is kind of too... I don't know why it says tender crisp at the top. Too short. <laughs> well, let's see if... We'll see, let's, normally okay. it's at 10 minutes. So it's it's, it's heat pressurizing. First. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> unlocked it already. Be careful. And you want don't... to make sure this part up here... Also make sure this seal. is closed. So right. to this way is seal, and then to that way it's bent. Okay. Left seal, right so If you bent. turn it this way, it's going to... As you can see, now it's tilted up. If you turn it that way, it stays down. So... This and you can tell, it. you can tell when it's built up a lot of pressure. You cannot open yeah. this; it will not let you. When the pressure is built so up, it's, it's going to be very hard to turn this, yep. unless you're like using Hulk strength and you want to <laughs> blow your arm off. <laughs> you <laughs> can like twist it and it'll <laughs> and blast your hand. You out. don't want to burn yourself with all the steam that will come out if you would open it. So, but you would turn it to the vent to release it, but. Before you use your hand and just do that, you want to actually cover your hand with a protective yep. or you can, you have glove to be very or something. With only this little nubby. You have to be careful with this nub. It does if you touch here, also it's spout psh, out some uh, steam, steam and out these sides and some boiling water too. Okay, so we'll wait for it to pressurize, and in the meantime, we'll look at the cookbook. All right, see you guys soon. I forgot to mention, on this one it shows the cooker's farting, and on this one it shows you got some bacon strips up your butt, so <laughs> depending what you're doing, if you're, I guess if you're frying or roasting, you'll get bacon strips up your butt, and if you're 
uh, steaming, then you get some fart gas. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you at the cookbook. Alright, so here we are at the cookbook again for the thir third time, I think. Sorry, excuse my scabs, that one's not peeling off right, and I don't want to peel it, it really hurts, and then it's really bad underneath. Table of contents, there you go. Pressure crisp. Okay, you can read this all yourself. I'm just going to quickly go um, through the book. I'm not going to actually read anything for you guys. So I'm just going to show you. It tells you like what you can do with each thing. Uh, maybe I should turn the flash off. Let's see. Okay, I guess you guys can read it better. Actually, now, you, now the overhead light's on. I don't know. I guess you're going to have to deal with it. I'll just move the, t the, I don't know, no, it's better without it, okay. I don't know. You go, and if you do the closing lid, it's for crisping and dehydrating. Do you have a pot with Huh? Okay, so you can see all this. Okay. I'm just again I'm just going through every page quickly so if you need to see any other pages or anything though most people probably won't even care to see this they're probably just going to skip over this whole part but if for some reason you need to see any other pages let me know and maybe I'll make another video to show a better close up better quality image here you can see the instructions on how to make these ribs Okay. I don't like how these books make it like you can't read the edges. They shouldn't put text all the way on this edge here. But uh, there you go. Yep, they should they should just shrink it a tiny bit more and then fit everything closer in the center so you don't have that edge being cut off there. Macaroni and cheese. Okay. Again, if you're curious and you want to read the recipes, you can just pause. I don't know if people have like an older uh, Ninja Foodie cooker. Maybe these recipes will be good for you too. Okay, I don't know what this is. Show you different recipes that you can just mix and match stuff. Buffalo chicken wings. There's a lot of page to, pages to this book. Chicken dinner, frozen chicken dinner. Salmon bok choy, salmon bok choy. Hopefully you guys can read that again. I don't know. It's this book is, I don't like it. Okay, upside down loaded nachos. Why is it so blurry? Focus. Hopefully you guys were able to read everything. Whole roasted Sicilian cauliflower. Okay, potato wedges. Carnitas tacos, stuffed peppers, okay, hopefully you guys can actually read anything, everything, there's a lot of recipes in this book, man, that's a lot of recipes. Okay, sirloin steak and green beans. There's a lot of pages. I don't think we're even halfway done. That's a lot of recipes. You can decide if you want to make anything. I don't think I saw a glossary with recipes. They should have had like an index or glossary that showed what all the recipes are. So if you want a specific meal, you can just read through like the menu. Instead of having to flip through the entire book to see if there's anything you want. 
Sorry, I know it's a little bit blurry now. Okay. Hopefully you guys can read all of that. Ooh. Short ribs and root vegetables. Okay. Barbecue, Chinese barbecue pork. Philly cheese steak casserole. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. Okay. Hopefully you guys can read that. Pulled pork with crispy biscuits. Biscuit and sausage gravy. There's still a lot of recipes. Wow, that's a lot of recipes in this recipe book. French onion soup. Chicken pot pie. I know there's some glare on it. I'm sorry. Can't help it. Meatball pasta bake. Okay. Penne and sausage ragu. Stop going blurry. Wow, that's a lot. Beef and chili. Beef chili and cornbread casserole. They have some little tips down there. Pepperoni, pe pepperoni pizza pasta bake. So if you want to make a pasta that tastes like pepperoni pizza, I guess. Berry upside down cake. So they got desserts in here too. Peach cherry crumble. Ooh, that sounds good. Maybe I should make some of these recipes. Okay, if somebody comments uh, a recipe they want me to try to make, um, I'll see if I can get all the ingredients and make that for you. So feel free to write a comment in the comment section below. And I will make whatever recipe you guys um Say it doesn't even have to be in this book. You can say some some other recipe, and I'll try and make it. All right. Crispy Brussels sprouts. Huh. Okay. Parker House Turner rolls. Oh, I think some of this stuff says like you need to use the extra stuff. You need that special pan. That sucks. So they put recipes in here that need the special attachments so that that way you spend some more and buy more of their attachments. Chili rub chicken and chim chimichurri. Okay. Jeez, how many recipes are in here? Still not even close. Blueberry cheesecake. You go. Chocolate chip cookie, a ginormous cookie. So this one, you need that uh, special uh, adapter, the pan. Okay. Oh, okay. I think we're pretty much done now. It's just random charts here, so. Pressure cooking chart, so they tell you different temperatures and stuff. They tell you what accessories and things to use. Okay. Sorry, it's it's hard to show all this stuff. More pressure cooking charts. Hopefully you guys get the information you need.
so blurry. There we go. Almost there. We're just getting all these charts now. Okay, sous vide 101. So they tell you how to do sous vide. They tell you what sous vide means. Chart. It's hard to keep this flat and show everything. More sous vide charts. Air crisping charts. So they show you how to different stuff for crisping. So for air frying you want to toss or flip the stuff often. You don't want to just leave it there I guess. And it says to use silicone tip tongs. I guess so you don't scratch it up. Alright we're almost at the end of the book and then we're gonna wait for the food to be finished. Okay, and a chart for dehydrating stuff. Sorry for the glare. Alright, there you go. Too much glare on this thing. Okay. Last page, I think. All right, and that's it. So we'll wait for the food to finish, and we'll see you guys later. Okay, so it's almost done. Twenty-one seconds. So now we're opening the good stuff. So they put, golden. They put curry. actual gold flakes in this. So this one little gold bar costs three hundred dollars. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, it's like a solid brick of curry. Okay. Doop, doop, doop. Reminds me of the. Okay. That's a Mickey Mouse thing. Okay, and, and we got some corn here. Now the timer starts counting. Now up. we're gonna open up that. <laughs> Whoa! It sprayed water so far. Whoa! That thing sprayed water at me. Want, that's why you want protection. <laughs> that's why you want protection. That thing even sprayed water at me. Whoa! Look at all that. We better open this, or we're gonna end up with a water damaged house. We should cook this outside. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Okay, open the front. Oh, the front door is open too. So we're letting all the steam out. We have to be careful here. This thing's like a bomb. Alright, and we got some uh, onions there. Alright, so we're gonna let the steam out and we'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, okay, Damn. so my brother's opening it now. It's been about five minutes. Steam is still coming out. I would probably recommend you wait till it's all done, but it, he was twisting it and it twisted open easily, so I guess he's gonna open it. Make sure. It, Probably put some downward pressure so it doesn't blast you in the face when you open it. Yep, you gotta push down on it and turn. Okay, there you go. Turn lid. And here you go. Woo! It's all boiling and steaming. You can see. Alright, just set the lid on the sink, I guess. Oh, wait, you're gonna use it again? Well, I guess you can set it there. Put it on the edge. No, just flip it over. You're gonna drop it and it's gonna get damaged. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so next we're gonna add golden curry blocks. The curry blocks. Okay. Break it into pieces. So we've got that. Smaller chunks, easier it's not to not really it. golden. And more looks like uh, uh, some turds. <laughs> <laughs> I need something to mix it. Alright, now we got to mix it up. Uh, we don't have a long enough wooden spoon, so hopefully this is okay. It doesn't burn. Stir it up. Oh no, it's going to splash out everywhere. At 
first he was going to stop it like four minutes early. So maybe now it's too mushy, I don't know. We're kind of just seeing what would happen if we leave it the full 10 minutes of pressure cooking time. And here you can see all the potatoes are getting mushed, so maybe we should have stopped it early. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Let's uh, also add in the corn. Okay. Now we're going to add in the corn. Good. Smells really good. Okay. Oh. And a corn number two. Apparently chicken at Walmart super cheap, about 50 cents a pound, slightly less. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think this is for like the drumsticks and thighs, bag of drumstick and thighs, yep. which is the good stuff, the dark meat. Mm. I don't know why people like that dried out white chicken breast meat, but drumsticks and the thighs, you can cook it long and it stays nice and juicy and tender. So the longer you're mixing it with those curry okay, blocks, so the curry it's starting to get up. thicker. It's getting thickened up. Okay. But I may have put we a probably put a little much too much water. water, too much water in this one. But it's okay. We can just eat it with rice. Just pour that sauce all over the rice and stir it up, and it's good. Mm -hmm. Now most people, they like to uh, peel their carrots, peel the potatoes and everything, but then you lose a lot of the nutrients from it. So what I did, uh, I leave the peel on all of them, but you gotta make sure you wash it, scrub it, like uh, rinse it, and then like kind of scrub it and make sure it's all clean, the carrots and the potatoes. And also, when you're cutting them, you want to make sure that they're not, like, rotten or anything. Like, have any black bruises or anything bad on it. So, that's also, you got to look out for that. See, the curry's getting while you're thickened. Cutting them. Okay. So, you can see the curry's a lot thicker now. Yep. You add the onions. Add the onions now. <clears throat> oh, it's right there next so, to you. I like to add the onions last. Well, my dad likes the onions last because then it'll stay more crunchy. If you add them like first with everything else, then they'll pretty much be dissolved onions. So it's up to you if you like if you want the really onions soft to onions or if you like kind of crunchy onions. <clears throat> and up to you when you want to. If you put it in along with the other vegetables and chicken, then it'll be really soft, dissolved onions. If you put it at the end, then it'll be more like crunchy, crispy onions. Uh oh, it's spilling over the edge. <laughs> Is that a corn? Yep. <clears throat> so it's oh, just about done. It's mixing it too high. We need a bigger foodie, it's overflowing. <laughs> we need a bigger, bigger pot. Good. So yeah. Okay. If you prefer more thick curry, then you just less Put water. Less water. Yep. 
But you do need the water for it to build the steam or it's not going to work. So. All right. We need a bigger, we need a bigger foodie for this thing. And this should last several let's, weeks. Let's just push, <laughs> let's just push the onions in there. Under the... There's like, only like three or four of us here, so it should last us a This food weeks. should last us pretty long. We'll see how many meals. It should last us quite a while. Alright, so... Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A couple weeks. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, well, our parents are coming to visit Thursday, so we'll see. They'll eat some too. Yep. Yeah. Alright, how long do we leave it like this or do we just eat it now? Hope you guys all enjoy. <laughs> do we leave it like Try this to cook more for the onions or do we just nope, it's eat good. it now? Good. Is it? Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna get some rice and then I'm gonna eat some, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, see you guys in a bit. All right, so here it is, a steaming bowl of curry with rice. Um, because the curry's so hot, I actually just put cold rice in there because I'm going to stir it up and it's going to warm up the rice. All right, otherwise um, eating this curry is just going to burn my mouth. So we're going to stir this up. Hopefully that will cool it down enough so that it's not burning, burning hot. All right, just stir it all together. It all in there all right and let's see how it came out hopefully it's cold enough now I've got a piece of chicken here okay I'm gonna try the carrot first with some corn and rice mmm good curry how long did it take to cook in the cooker. I guess the prepping time takes a while, but but the cooking, um, you cooked it at, for 10 minutes, so. It takes, like, it takes like 10 to 20 minutes to get to that pressure. Yeah. To, and then the 10 minutes. Yeah. Mm. So maybe about 30 minutes to cook, including the time after and everything. And the prepping, cutting all the vegetables, maybe total 40 minutes. And then you have this giant pot of food. All right. It's delicious. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. It's good. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.